Welcome around the card table. Well, welcome to me playing a board game on the Commodore 64. Well, while the game itself isn't Monopoly, even though there exists such a version for the Commodore 64, actually there are many, um, I'm not discussing Monopoly, but I'm discussing a Commodore 64 version of a spin-off. Advance to Boardwalk. <laughs> Now, Advance to Boardwalk, the Commodore 64 version, is the adaptation of the board game Advance to Boardwalk. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed either. <laughs> now, the board game itself is from 1985 and it focuses on what is often seen as the hottest property in Monopoly, Boardwalk. Okay, so the Commodore 64 version is a game for two to four players, just like the board game is. But at least here you can get the computer to take on the roles of the players. Now, within your turn, following the game rules of the board game, you select properties with the button S and you cancel out of an action with C. Oh, and you finish your turn, your transaction, with the return key. Sounds rather simple, doesn't it? The presentation of the game, well, it is rather minimalist, to say the least. I mean, yeah, it's a game by Game Tech, and their games aren't really the prettiest things you can find. But since this game is from 1990, after a while they had, of course, the chance to learn a few things, it shouldn't need to look this basic. Oh, and uh, the basic aspect actually kind of extends to the audio of the game. You get little, what sounds like one-channel ditties that don't bring the uh, sit chip to a sweat. Now, the game is over, just like the board game, when one player has no hotel pieces, no play pieces, to put on the hotel lots left when their turn comes up again. Quite often, because I'm not that good at the game, it's the computer who wins. So what's the advantage of the Commodore 64 version over the basic board game version? Well, to be honest, the only advantage I can see is the AI that allows you to play the game all by yourself and um, to be honest you can actually decide to have the AI play against itself so you can see how it works. Aside from the advantage of solo play the presentation is bare bones and I actually prefer playing the board game version However, I'd need to have someone to play against. Oh, and I should probably own the board game as well. <laughs> In two weeks, I will look at an adventure game. One of the biggest adventure games out there. It may be the adventure game that taught some of us that no, a microwave is not a good place to put your hamster. I'm talking of course about Maniac Mansion by Lucasfilm Games. <laughs> 